girl in red, I'm doing it again, baby. Album review, let's chat about it. Hey friends, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning here tonight to chat about this latest album from a girl in red, Norwegian bass singer, songwriter. She has been at it for a few years now, turning a lot of heads in the alternative pop and indie pop world. Uh, a lot of this is because of her early EPs, like uh, the Chapter One EP, which is an EP that when it came out, I had a lot of very conflicting thoughts on. Uh, on one hand, I did like the lo-fi aesthetic. I did think that her lyrical themes of uh, mental health and romance were really done tastefully. Plus, I thought tracks like Girls were just really great tracks. My issue came when it came to some of the deeper cuts on this EP, which I thought were maybe a little too lo-fi and just not nearly as memorable as some of the bigger singles here. And truth be told, I had almost the exact same identical thoughts about her Chapter 2 EP, which followed it. At the time, I just thought that maybe hearing a girl in red gussy up her sound with some better production would be uh, what really got me into her music. Which, she certainly did clean up her sound with her full-length debut, If I Can Make the World Go Quiet, but in an ironic twist, uh, a lot of the production on this album was a lot cleaner, but I was not nearly as into uh, her performances, her lyrics, as a matter of fact. I think she took a major back step. So much so, I ended up going back to her Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 EPs and enjoying them even more in the long run. Now, she has only grown bigger ever since, getting some big tours. Uh, she's basically, you know, really getting there as far as an artist goes. Now, this is her second album, and I have to be honest, I, I was not looking forward to this thing, mostly because I didn't think the singles were very good, uh, but in an ironic twist, once again, I do think she makes big strides here. Take, for example, uh, the intro here, I'm Back. This is, in a lot of ways, what I've kind of wanted to hear from Girl in Red since the very beginning. This is a very quaint, very sweet track. I mean, hearing some of the singles leading up to this thing and not being excited for this album, hearing a track like this uh, was really, really classy. And like I said, this is kind of what I wanted to hear from her since day one. It has the very sincere, sweet lyrics, but it just sounds really great. It's a really sweet, pleasant ballad with some great production. What more can I ask for? As a matter of fact, she does a lot of growing on this album. I really enjoy Phantom Pain as well. This track has a little urgency to it, which is really, really nice. As a matter of fact, uh, this track has the heart and the passion to back up her sincere lyrics that I've been wanting to hear for a while now. The production is great, uh, it's catchy, it's sweet. It reminds me of a lot of early 2000s indie tronica that I was into. The production is great, it's sweet, it's catchy. It sounds like her early material just gussied up. And that's something that I can get with. Plus, I love the last 30 seconds, the personality, the explosion that we get here. Right on. You Need Me Now also. Th this one caught me off guard. This is the one single that I did enjoy going into this album, and it's grown on me immensely. The termination in this instrumental and the urgency in her performance is very, very cool. The determination in this instrumental and the urgency in her performance is just explosive. It's the best track here, and it's one of the better singles she's ever put out. It's upbeat, it's manic, I love hearing her just freak out a little bit, and you know what, I, I will say this against this track. Uh, her introduction to bringing Sabrina Carpenter on is one of the most annoying things I've heard all year. Uh, thankfully, I think Sabrina, as actress and singer Sabrina Carpenter, who actually does a really great job on this feature. She actually brings this track together very nicely. Yeah, it's a great single and a night to remember. I mean, as far as a ballad goes, this could have gone south really fast, but it's actually really sweet. I would say it's actually one of the most sincere moments on this entire record and her vocal performance on this track. It's, it's one of the most memorable she's ever done. It almost gives me like an early 2000s nostalgic indie tronica vibe to it, and I'm okay with that. It's genuinely heartwarming and a really great track. Now, while there is a lot of maturation on this album, and I would say that this is immensely more listenable than her studio full-length debut, we still have some issues, and I do have a lot of reservations with Girl in Red's music still. Like, uh, Doing It Again Baby, this thing was a single, and it is not one that I enjoy at all. This is annoying and obnoxious. I wish that I could, you know, just appreciate some parts of it, but it's just, it's really not for me. I actually do like the production on this track. I think from a distance it sounds really good, but lyric-wise and performance-wise, I don't think this is Girl in Red's best. As a matter of fact, most of this track is just like, 
God, so grating, like nails on a chalkboard. I do like uh, her manic freak out in the last 30 seconds, but that's about it here. A lot of the same feelings on too much. I mean, God, what is this? Absolutely like way, trying way too hard to be quaint and sweet bull crap. She's done so much better here. Yeah, it sounds sweet from a mile away, but this track doesn't have anything to fall back on. And listen, if it had like a really memorable hook or something, I'd be able to look past this a little bit, but it's really just not a good song. I almost had to skip this track. That's how bad it was. And I don't like to skip anything in my reviews. Ugly Side, I mean, lyrically, it's okay, but everything else about this track, it's just not exciting me. And by this point, I feel like, I feel like she doesn't have a straightforward thought on what her sound in the long run should be, which could be very exciting, but here it just comes off as misguided. I mean, I do like the beat and the instrumental quite a bit, but Girl in Red sounds really awkward and not comfortable at all with this instrumental. The pieces are here, she just needs to sharpen them up a little bit. And New Love is really tough for me because instrumental-wise, production-wise, this is where I want to hear her. But once again, vocal-wise, performance-wise, she, she's not bringing it this time around. Lyrics too, what, what actually happened here? So clearly I still have a lot of reservations with this record. It is very far from perfect, but I do appreciate a lot of this record and I think it's listenable and much more so than her debut album. Plus, late in the album, there's a couple more really great tracks. I do love Pick Me. As far as a ballad goes, this is actually stunning. Her vocals, some of the most pure and heartfelt in her discography, really, really impressive. And listen, th this track, once again, could have gone south really fast, but her performance here is just so raw. I mean, I've been on the fence with her for so long, but this album is giving me a little slither of hope, and honestly, I'd like to hear more ballads like this. In Five Star, I actually think it's a really good finale. It's an upbeat, whimsical synth pop jam with a ton of heart. It's also got this great, chaotic, heady energy that I honestly wanted to hear more of on this album. This is a real experiment for her. This is her really pushing herself, and I love hearing that. We're getting there. We're not quite there yet, but we are certainly getting there. This is so much more enjoyable than her debut album, which I still can't really get all the way through. But this thing, you know, it's got some heart to it. It's got some personality to it, which is something that has been missing for me, at least in Girl in Red's music for quite some time. The production's solid. You know, a lot of this album actually works pretty nicely. The only thing is it's a slippery slope. There's still some growing pains going on, and I'd like to see a little bit more of a concise sound in the future. That's just me. I'm feeling a decent six on this album, but let me know what you all think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, friends.